US aid will be a lifeline for Ukrainians, but it's unlikely to turn the tide of the war. Bloomberg. The United States' approval of over 60 billion US dollars in aid will be a lifeline for Ukrainian soldiers in dire straits. However, according to the American publication Bloomberg, it's unlikely to turn the tide of the war. Much will depend on how quickly US assistance can get to the front line after the House of Representatives approved the military and economic assistance on Saturday. As the package was stalled for six months in Congress, Kyiv's military has grappled with an ever more acute shortage of ammunition and manpower while Kremlin forces press their advantage, Bloomberg said. Bloomberg cites Mykola Beliskov, a research fellow at the National Institute for Strategic Studies in Kyiv, stating that this aid will allow Ukrainian soldiers to rest a little and help them slow down the Kremlin's advance, conduct effective defense and minimize losses. However, according to the expert, greater assistance is needed to advance further. The question is whether there will be aid and what volume in 2025 and beyond as Putin's strategy is to wait it out. Beliskov said, Ukrainian ambassador to the United States, Oksana Markarova, stated that they had been working on the logistics of weapon delivery all this time. The Pentagon and our defense ministry didn't stop working daily together at finding weapons, identifying them and such packages are being prepared. Markarova said, it has also been reported that some equipment, likely including army tactical missile systems, could be delivered by the end of the week. However, analysts at the Institute for the Study of War believe that even if American aid arrives quickly, it will not begin to affect the situation on the front line for several weeks due to transport logistics. The frontline situation will therefore likely continue to deteriorate in that time, particularly if Russian forces increase their attacks to take advantage of the limited window before the arrival of new US aid, the analysts said. Ukraine defies U.S. warnings against striking Russian industry. Ukraine is seemingly determined to continue its drone strikes targeting Russian industrial infrastructure, despite the United States signaling its disapproval of the attacks, The Economist reported. The report notes that Ukraine has developed drones with a range of up to 3,000 kilometers capable of reaching targets in Siberia. U.S. officials expressed concern over these deep strikes, particularly when it comes to attacks on Russian oil refineries, which could directly affect global energy prices. So far, Ukraine is ignoring American advice to call off the strikes, the article said. An unnamed Ukrainian intelligence officer told the journalists that he had not received orders to halt operations. Although attacks on refineries have decreased recently, this is likely temporary. Our targets change day to day. We keep the Russians on their toes, the source said. At the same time, one manufacturer of long-range Ukrainian drones claims that some U.S. officials are fully behind Ukraine targeting Russian industrial output. They're privately telling us to keep going, they told the journalists. The same source added that Kyiv is intent on expanding its strike drone production in the coming months. Russia is scorching Ukrainian land. It's time we did the same to the European part of Russia, they concluded. Due to constant attacks of Ukrainian drones on oil refineries, Russia has begun to protect them with anti-drone nets, Russian propaganda outlet Ria Novosti reported. Bashnet protected its refineries with mechanical nets. Head of the Republic of Bashkortostan, Radi Kabiro, said that company equipped many facilities that could be targeted by an attack with such nets. But we all realize that this is a half-hearted solution. Let's say they can withstand fire attack, but there could be a second one, he said. Therefore, only part of the work has been done and it continues. Head of Bashkiria noted that he is also engaged in a dialogue and is asking for help from Russian Defense Ministry and said that he has allegedly made a number of decisions which he refused to elaborate on. Pentagon prepares to send artillery and air defense equipment to Ukraine. The United States is preparing to quickly approve a new military aid package for Ukraine, as Congress will soon approve a law to support Ukraine, according to Politico. The agency writes that it is artillery and air defense equipment. 
Other sources indicate that the administration of President Joe Biden has not yet made a final decision on how large the tranche of military aid will be and what it will contain. But Defense Department officials are working on putting together a package of U.S. equipment that can move quickly through the bureaucratic process once the legislation passes and is signed by the president, writes Politico. The material states that some of the U.S. weapons are already positioned in warehouses across Europe and can be immediately transported to Ukraine. Some equipment could reach Ukraine in days, while others may take weeks. Pentagon spokesman Patrick Ryder refused to go into details about what the future aid package will include. But according to him, the United States has a very reliable logistical network that allows it to move material assets very quickly. It can be a matter of days. Earlier, Assistant Secretary of the Pentagon for International Security Affairs, Celeste Wallander, told lawmakers that the Pentagon would begin to rapidly send ammunition, artillery shells and air defense equipment as soon as Congress approves aid to Ukraine. The U.S. Congress has been unable to approve a new aid package for Ukraine since last fall due to disagreements among some members of the Republican Party. As a result, Ukraine began to experience a shortage of weapons which led, among other things, to the retreat of the Ukrainian armed forces from Avdiivka in the Donetsk region. Recently, however, U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson put forward his initiative to help Ukraine, which currently has a good chance of being approved. Today, the House of Representatives has begun consideration of the bills initiated by Johnson.